यो माम एवं असमूढ़ो जानाति पुरुषोत्तम स सर्वविध भजती माम सर्वभावे न भारत हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी नाइनटीन श्लोक ऑफ दी फिफ्टींथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गो इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज यो माम एवं असमूढ़ो विच मीन्स इन दिस वे दी वाइज जानाति पुरुषोत्तम विच मीन्स हु नोज मी एज दी सुप्रीम बींग स सर्वविध भजती माम विच मीन्स ही नोइंग ऑल वर्शिप्स मी सर्वभाव न भारत विच मीन्स इन ऑल वेज ओ भारत सो श्री कृष्ण नाउ एक्सप्लेन टू अर्जुन दैट दोज हु नो मी एज दी सुप्रीम बींग नो एवरीथिंग इन ऑल वेज एंड इन दिस वे ही वर्शिप्स मी एट ऑल टाइम्स so to understand this statement of shri krishna you need to first understand the fundamental motivation behind the life that we are living so everybody in this world has a specific reason for uh, living his life what we call as the why for living the life so this why is uh, what they think will uh, bring satisfaction to them in life and therefore they struggle in this world to attain this why so the ultimate aim of life actually is satisfaction but due to the wrong outlook they direct the aim of their life or this why to something which is not eternal uh, some for example do it for fun others go for reputation others go for money others go for responsibility so on and so forth and all of these things actually are non eternal the eternal is beyond them but in the wrong understanding people attach their why to these non eternal things so as an example someone might uh, put the why on reputation and therefore uh, he might tell himself that you know i should obtain a high post in this life so that uh, that post will then bring reputation to me and then i will be happy so with that uh, point of view many questions will then arise in such a person he will start to say okay which post is most reputed for me to attain how to obtain that post how to enjoy the reputation that will come with that post so these questions will arise and then these questions will then lead to further questions for example is this post more reputed or that post more reputed why is this post more reputed how is this post maintained how to attain this post what if others will get this post and i will be not able to get this post so these kind of questions will then arise so and so forth so many useless questions will basically then arise in in such a person and that person will become disturbed so the ultimate aim of life is basically to attain satisfaction he wanted satisfaction by attaining this post by but in the process of attaining that post so many questions arose in him that his satisfaction got disturbed his original nature was by was by himself satisfaction but it got disturbed because of the wrong understanding wrong direction of this why so the wise know that the ultimate aim of life is to attain our higher nature which is bliss in itself so they know that this life is just a role that has been given to me by the lord and that i am playing in this divine play which is manifesting out here in this world this role basically has been given to me so that i can work out on all of my faults and then move towards my higher nature and unite with the lord so in that sense the wise realize that the ultimate aim is to unite with the lord and then attain that bliss and so they worship the lord all the times and all these questions that was arising in such a person they then stop arising and when the questions stop arising then of course he has perfect knowledge he knows that he can know everything through the divine because the divine has the access to all of the knowledge so if he will attain the union with the divine he will basically attain everything that has to be attained in this life now the lord basically is waiting for us to take this step to Uh, move towards him and unite with him and as soon as we take that step he basically starts to help us in the in this endeavor whatever questions then arise in our life he basically directly provides the answers to them he arranges some way or the other for uh, the person to get the answers to those questions those questions so that he can unite with the lord so with this point of view all the why's of the life they get answered very quickly for such a person and no more questions arise in him so this is why shri krishna said that the one who knows me he knows everything in all ways he knows everything and he basically worships me in all ways because such a person has direct access to the knowledge of the all knowing supreme lord 
So that was basically the message of this shlok. I hope that I have explained this shlok well to you. With that, I'll close this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.